dropping your brush about twice a week, it should just fall out of your fingers, mm -hmm. um, which explains the carpet. <laughs> um, but if you, you know, drag softly across this kind of thing with not too much paint on the brush, you can pick up all of this uh, you know, texture of the brushwork that's going on underneath. And I'm doing a light on top of dark, which is usually my favorite way to scumble. Um, and I've noticed that a lot of artists seem to prefer that. I, I, I just like the look of it. Uh -huh. um, and I think the reason for that is that the high points are lit and the, you know, the, the recessed parts are in shadow and that just kind of works for emphasizing mm -hmm. that texture. So um, as I do that here, try and let this just go into beautiful paint and then you know, from that beautiful paint it becomes a fish and then disappears off into beautiful paint again somewhere else. So that's, that's kind of the goal I'm setting for myself. Um, in here, I wanted to put the idea of tangled paint becoming these stripes. I'm going to set myself up for that right now, so um, palette work. I'm going to just start mixing up the colors that I need for this transition, and then I'll try and pick it up in such a way that I can set it down. Maybe 30 or 40 tries before I can get that right. On, on one it. stroke, you're going to do the stripes? I'm going to try, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the popcorn. No kidding. <laughs> so now you say you really suck. Yeah. I know. It's it's um, it can be discouraging to watch you sometimes. Well, I'm done sometimes. it yet. Let's just point that out. Well, the thought that you even conceived of doing it that way <laughs> is discouraging. <laughs> So I'm going to want plenty of paint for that. Yeah. Even if I'm going to do this with a big brush, by the way, I like to mix it with a smaller brush. The reason for that, I'm mixing these seven or eight different colors here. If I'm cleaning the brush in between and it's a big brush, I'm throwing away so much paint. Yeah. Uh, I throw away a lot less paint if I mix things with a small brush and then I can take the big one and dip into it, make that mark, and only clean that big brush that one time after each mark, right? If I'm cleaning that big brush between these piles of paint, I'm throwing away tubes of paint in one painting. So uh, I'm always mixing with a smaller brush. And is there a reason why you mix with a brush as opposed to a palette knife? Um, mostly it's just because I'm using the brush so much. So I'd, you know, I tend okay. to just go right just back up. just faster for you. Yeah. And it seems to be uh, a little easier to, to reach everything. When I mix with a palette knife, it seems like they're... Um, it doesn't always want to push all the way against the glass everywhere, right. you know, mm -hmm. and so when you dip into it, you might find there's some white, white still sitting on the bottom, and yeah. I don't like that, so. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm making a little range of warm to cool within the lights here, and the warmer ones are a little bit lighter, the cooler ones are a little bit darker, and I'm hoping to be able to set that stroke down in a way that it um, follows the form of that fish in that direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the stripes then um, are a more consistent value all the way across. They're not lighting up very much. They're such dark stripes, we're not getting much effect of natural light hitting them as they go across the top. So most of the form is being described within the lights on this fish. That's going to reflect on my palette work here. So as I set up my darks, they're not going to change as much as they go from light to shadow. Stop right there and do a beautiful painting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Triple size. Yeah. Triple so, size. Yeah. <laughs> and you're really going to go with that kind of red for the dark. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. I mean, I want it to be attractive. <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure out how to load this brush yeah. as I go. Uh, this is going to be interesting. How to love it or how to load it? Load it. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, a trick, isn't it? it. Mm -hmm. It is, it is actually. <laughs> kind of. Let's see if we can. Uh, like I said, it may take me 30 or 40 tries to do this. I'll see.
that's better. Okay. I can kind of repeat that stroke a little bit darker. I think I did. It was just, um, I needed to be able to start smearing this stuff. So you're changing that. values in one stroke, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's, it's very, yeah, it's hard to do.